John Carter starts talking, he almost never stops. That's because he's the national champion pitcher of England. No, he's not a baseball pitcher. He's a sales pitcher, or spieler. You can find him here in Walsall, England, every market day selling his china and glass. But he does more than sell. He conducts a non-stop auction with an unusual twist. Cereal bowl, super cereal, jam jelly gollop. As a matter of fact, you can put those in the oven and you can do just whatever you like. There's one for him, there's one for her, and there's one for her. Instead of starting with a low bid and building it up, John does it in reverse. He starts with a high price and keeps lowering it until he gets a sale. Don't charge him three pounds. Don't even charge him two fifty. And just to show you that I'm in a little bit of business today, I'll not even charge you a couple of quid. So brand spanking new line of orders of curves, I'd like to all have a do. I'd like to see your hands on this one. Don't even charge him one ninety. Hold on a second, I'm going even lower. You'll have to take the colours as they come. They're all sold as quite sound and perfect. And instead of saying 190, 180, 175, watch my lips, I'll not even charge him 150. As far as they go and as long as they last. By golly, then I attempt one bit of the entire service. And instead of saying that's round about 15 or 40... What makes John Carter the best spieler in Great Britain? It's a combination of things. Personality, snappy sales patter, confidence in his ability to work a crowd, and most important of all... Perfect timing. The timing when to come in with the final price. Um, the timing when to have the little gag here and there. And the time when you've got to be serious. Uh, and to try and blend the whole lot. As, as one piece. And the beauty of those, in every half a dozen, you get three of them look for right-handed people and three for left-handed. And if you turn them around, they're exactly the same. And if I can tempt one party, my audience, instead of saying those are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I won't even charge you a 5 or a 4 or a 3.50 and you'll pay me nothing like 3 quid. I mean for the entire... John starts spieling at 10.30 in the morning and keeps up his non-stop sales pitch for six hours straight. John talks through lunchtime. I'm rather fortunate. When my father died, he left me a lot of money. The only snag is we don't know where they left us. He talks through tea time. Not even for 28. I won't even charge you 27.50. And whoever says yes, you'll pay me nowhere near 25 pounds. John talks until the last customer leaves. Are you ready for this human stampede? When they all come rushing forward? I keep forgetting I'm in Warsaw. You know, you can get carried away sometimes. <laughs> charge him 17 not even for 1650 and whoever says i will i won't even charge you 16 i'm relentless i go on and on and on you know uh, i'm not known for giving in very easily you know whether i'm taking any money or not can i attempt one bit of the entire service and instead of saying that john's right, effort pays off on a good day he can take in as much as two thousand dollars as a matter of fact those are big enough for dinner plates eh? the way we're going on they'll be plenty big enough We've got her rush on. So, you change. Might I say how nice your hair looks today? Have For John Carter, marathon talker and England's champion pitcher, today has been a good one. And we were able to share it because you asked for it.